The governor is committing new resources for crime prevention, prosecution, and witness protection. He's also providing more money to address mental health and substance misuse. Shot and killed, a chilling phrase used by the media almost daily in the city of Baltimore. Citizens are demanding more accountability for the violent criminals who are shooting and killing people in the streets of Baltimore. In addition to his legislative package addressing crime, the governor is putting money into a statewide crime-fighting effort that also benefits Baltimore. The proposals include $74.5 million in police aid to local governments, $38.7 million in law enforcement grants to local governments, $3 million to help recruit and retain police officers, $6.9 million to support crime prevention, $2.6 million for 25 new prosecutors and core staff positions and the state AG's office to go after violence, human trafficking, and gangs. Right now we have to stop the bloodshed in the streets that's happening nearly every single day. The governor's budget includes $272 million for community and residential services targeting juvenile offenders. To reduce the number of violent youth offenders in Baltimore City. The governor budgeted $862 million for mental health and substance abuse programs. To help combat the heroin and opioid epidemic, which is driving so much of the gang violence. The budget calls for an additional $23 million to help the city tear down vacant buildings as part of Project Core. And we're working on the, the root causes of crime. We're working on doing things about this, these neighborhoods and about education and about job creation. The governor will brief legislative leaders on budget details during a breakfast meeting tomorrow. Democrats will be looking for funding they can divert to pay for current Education Commission recommendations. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.